Welcome to our deep sea fisheries exploration along continental slopes and sea mounts in the Philippines. So, siguro ang tataka kayo bakit kulay red yung ating shrimps. So, hindi pa po siya luto, hindi po siya sira, fresh pa po siya. So sa deep sea areas, itong shrimp na to is uh, colorless. Pero pag nasa taas na siya, uh, because of the reflection of light, ay nagkakaroon siya ng kulay. Just to give you a background, uh, pelagic species are the most commonly caught species. So, ito yung usual natin na uhulit, tulad ng mga tuna species, uh, galunggong, sardines. And since ito yung species na commonly target ng fisheries natin, uh, they are usually over-exploited. 200 meters and deeper are underutilized. So, since pelagic yung usual natin na target, yung more than 200 meters natin underutilized. Pero meron tayo mga uh, fishery resources which can be developed. And in the Philippines, wala pa po tayong established na deep sea fisheries. So despite being one of the most abundant shrimp in some areas, information on its biology is limited. So dahil wala nga tayong uh, established na deep sea fisheries, uh, yung biology ng species na to is very limited. There are two uh, genera of shrimps that are uh, widely distributed all over the world. So these are the uh, Hydrocarpus and Pisionica genera. So in the Philippines, we have uh, this uh, commonly caught uh, shrimps. So we have the Hydrocarpus libigatus, the large size, and also the Hydrocarpus uh, gibosus. We also have this uh, Sibugay, Hayashi, Parbispina, uh, Dorsalis, Woodmasuni, and Pisionica species. What's the objective of conducting this uh, research? So generally, uh, we want to develop a national deep sea fisheries management plan and optimally utilize the offshore and deep sea areas. So since uh, this uh, deep sea areas is underutilized, we want to develop a deep sea uh, fisheries in order to uh, optimally utilize these areas. Specifically, we want to assess catch rates and species compo composition, uh, determine catch distribution by depth and fishing grounds. We also want to gen generate information on deep sea uh, fisheries. So the data we uh, collect uh, will form part of the information of our uh, deep sea stream fisheries. So we have uh, conducted several surveys in uh, different areas. So from 2011 to 2016, we had conducted uh, surveys along Davao Gulf, Tawi-Tawi, Tamar, Matbate, Quezon Province, along the waters of Polillo, Sambales, Ilocos, and the west of Manila Bay. The survey used a cylindrical type of uh, traps. It has two valves on both ends, uh, which is a fan shape, which provide uh, easy entrance and difficult exit. And we also have variations like the fully covered, partially covered, and the uncovered. So for the purpose of uh, computing the cuts per unit effort, we use the grams per trap. And we also analyzed uh, cuts variations in terms of 300 meters depth class, uh, the gear variations, as well as the fishing run. So this is the result. So, uh, by the way, uh, one of our sur survey, uh, especially in the west of Manila Bay, uh, Kuya Kim, which is a prominent uh, TV personality, was also part of that uh, survey and was amazed of the uh, species that he saw for the first time. So this is the composition of our uh, cuts. So the shrimp species comprise 46.3% of our cuts. And this is also the shrimp uh, composition. So we have the top uh, four species that are caught in the Philippines. So we have the Heterocarpus dorsalis, the Hayashi, the Bugay, and the uh, Libigat, uh, Gibosos. And we also have Libigatos, which are our large size gypsy species. So we compared uh, the cut rates per uh, depth class. So as you can see in our illustration, the more than uh, between 300 to 600 meters, uh, we had the highest uh, catch rates compared to below 300 and more than 600 meters. 
Likewise, in the study of Dixon et al. in 2008, it also showed that between 400 to 600 meters had higher biomass compared to uh, other depths. A question, can it compete with our locally uh, available streams like Vaname? So as you can see here, most of our stream uh, caught are more than 10 grams. So by the way, in our uh, in terms of pricing for our streams, they start the, the pricing for uh, 10 grams. So that's why they, they have uh, that term called base 10. So in, based on that uh, pricing, our stream size can compete with our locally available streams. And we have this uh, maximum size which can reach up to 76 grams. So these are the dominant species caught in different uh, fishing grounds. Gating po yung marami. So sinubukan natin i-compare by fishing ground kung saan mas marami yung huli natin. So makikita natin pinakamataas ang huli was in the vicinity of Polilio Islands or the Pol Polilio Waters. So 562 grams per trap po yung huli natin. And then sa Tawi-Tawi and Ilocos Waters, medyo mataas din yung huli natin. So some of our results were published in international journals and other publications. For example, is the Fish for the People in Sifdek, which is based in Thailand, and also the International Journal of Fisheries and Aquatic Studies. So what's next? So uh, we consider to pilot deep sea stream fisheries to assess viability using small boats or medium commercial fishing vessel. So dahil mas malaki ngayon ginamit natin, subukan natin doon sa mga uh, commercial na mga fishing boat kung uh, viable ba siya. And we also need to continue exploration or assessment of deep sea resources in other areas. So kailangan natin increase yung coverage ng ating exploration and to develop a national deep sea fisheries management plan because we need to develop this plan before uh, these resources will uh, disappear. So kailangan natin gumawa muna ng management plan bago sila uh, ma-overexploit. That's all. I hope you learned something from our exploration and the presentation. Thank you.